What's going on you guys? This is Kyle, other known as Blaster Joker, coming at you with a combo video this time. We are actually here with Javier Hernandez, who's actually gonna do a combo for us. Just because of his deck profile just because of his deck. Sorry if I stuttered that. Uh, oh, thank you for that. Anyway, um He's gonna do a combo of his Danger Arcana Force, the 21st uh, FDK, as I'm gonna call it. And um, so we're gonna have him shuffle his deck as he's doing right. Just to right. know that I'm not cheating or anything. Just yeah, and just, just in case, I don't know if you're okay with being on camera, um, we're gonna have Corey here uh, shuffle up and if if anything, roll the die. Cut my deck, please. Yes. This is shown proof that he is actually right. being fair. So, anyway, without any further ado, let's get on to the combo and let's see what that opening hand is. Definitely not stacking. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna show the first five cards. It's a Mothman. Yeah. Alright, so this is a very interesting hand. This isn't completely ideal because you drew pretty much the sort of bricks in your deck, but they're not really bricks because they're extra monsters. But because we have Into the Void and Danger Mothman, uh, we're able to actually, um, Get through it. So first, we're gonna activate uh, into the void. Draw one card. Oh, that makes things so much better. Whoa! Another okay. into the void. Draw again. Then into the void. Oh my god! Here we go. <laughs> Here's what's crazy. We have we have drawn light barrier. What's great about uh, dangers is you can set your cards first before you activate their effects. So we're gonna set our semi wind condition in our field zone. And then uh, what we want to do here, you have to think about what danger effects you want to activate. Uh, you don't want to activate. You don't want to reveal the ones that like could benefit you in the end. So in this situation, you want Mothman to be discarded or the Brow. Um, so I'm gonna reveal the Thunderbird first. All right. So they're gonna go face down, and we're gonna get Corey to roll this special die over here. I'm gonna get this deck box out of the way. So, yeah. uh, um, and he's going to roll a die. Things two, three, four, and five. Great thing about this technique is that a lot of people actually roll ones and sixes more often than they do anything else. And he uh, rolled, and it's a four, so it's going to be in the middle, right. and he's going to hit the Thunderbird. He did hit the Thunderbird, which is not great, but oh. that's alright. Yeah, that's the only downfall. If they shotgun your cards, you're basically going to, like, pretty much. Not it's going to be screwed. So, reveal Danger Dog, man. Yep. going to reveal it. And now he's going to roll the die again. If you can pass it. Alright. There we go. It's going to be a one. Oh, shoot. He hit the dog and man. he hit the dog man. That's that's not a good start. It's it's not. We might have to start over. But we're gonna reveal the moth man. Doesn't it's a, matter. It's no okay. matter what he hits now, we will draw two cards. Yeah. So evens and odds. And he's going and we to got go an even. For even and he moth hit man. the moth man. All right. This man's really good at sniping danger cards. <laughs> But, uh, Good job, Corey. We're gonna activate the Mothman engrave so we can draw one card and discard a card. Oh, look at that! Another what brow. The? Oh my gosh! Brow's effect. Draw a card. Oof! Uh, we scoop, guys. Okay. We, scoop. we will try this again because of that miss. Um, We're gonna do this out of five. Yeah. Pretty um, much. If we, yeah, if we can. All right. Okay, so we're back, and we actually made a bit of a modification. We, we made for a boo-boo. We, we, <laughs> we actually forgot to take out one card because he actually didn't use it in his exactly. deck. Exactly. Um, so it was actually... Again. Where'd it go? Oh. Right here. This, this one sad noodle. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Instead of three, we play two. All right. Corey's All right, we'll get back in. <laughs> yeah. He right, cut the deck? Let's try this again. Let's, oh, okay, cool. Reveal our five cards. This is actually a way better hand. There oh my go. gosh! That is so good. This should be auto win just because of the three monsters we have here. Now let's so, hope he doesn't shotgun all the cards. Because I don't want him to... No, it doesn't matter if he hits them because they will get more cards. But I don't want the Thunderbird actually, so I'm going to go Allure Darkness first. Just to make sure. All right, so we're gonna banish. Actually, that's a that's actually a good draw. We're gonna banish the Thunderbird. That's good. So yeah. So Sorry. here we're gonna reveal the Dogman. So one through five. Six. Six. Three roll again. There we go. Three. Three. All right. Middle. Discarded the Jackal. There we go. There we go. Now the com Now you're racing. We're starting to get there. All right. Uh, the first uh danger monster you want to summon is in the middle column actually so then you'll draw one card and then a uh, jackalope's effect uh, yep. i usually keep tokens to keep track of which danger effects i play we'll use this sad snake upside down as the field center nah. okay we'll not use that not today sad face so then uh basically we're gonna take out the other bricks that are in our deck uh, just because we don't want them to come out or when we do draw them, so mm -hmm. Bigfoot from Jackalope. Right, yeah. Yeah. And you drew the you drew the brow, right? I drew brow off of the. Can you cut, please? Yeah. Oh, that's the, cool. Thank you. All right. Now we're going to reveal the Suchinoko because if we do discard the uh, Chupacabra, uh, we can get back Jackalope from the graveyard. 
Yeah. All right, so now he's going to shuffle the hand. We're going to go two through five, two to five. And one. it's a one, so roll yeah, again. Like I said, mathematically, ones and sixes are rolled way more than two through five. Yeah. If you're playing Tracer, that's another one. That's a good roll. There we go. There's a two. All right, discard the jackal up. Perfect. Summon the Suchi, draw a card. Oof. Oh, yeah. Uh, make what was, sure, what was that you make drew? Sure you oh, leave you drew a, that. Okay. We drew Grinder Golem. Make sure you leave a column open for when you do draw a Grinder Golem. Yeah. Right and that's right what's great about this. You give it to your opponent. Yeah. So that's your opponent. The upside down is your opponent, and these two are your tokens. Okay. Yeah. And then, like the usual combo, we use both the tokens to make a where is it? Link Spider, and then a Link Haribo. Yep. And then we link both of those off for a Caustic Magician, bouncing back Grinder Golem, then resummoning Grinder Golem for two. And then Link Haribo's effect is going to activate, tributing the one token because it's a level one yeah. for, for itself. And this is one way to get Soryuji because you have a field full of cards. I do. I have an entire field for this. So what we're going to do here, we're actually going to leave the Suchinoko on field in case we get to Levier. Yeah. Uh, so we are actually going to uh, send these four because if we draw beginning of the end off of Saryuja, we want to have the Dark Monsters in Grave and not the tokens. Oh yeah, and all it's also because they're all darks, right? Exactly. Lack Shik, Link Haribo. The only one that dangerous. isn't is Link Spider. Ah, it's okay. So Skull Dread. Uh, Skull Dread's gonna draw some cards. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. So that's uh. So at least we saw a beginning of the end. This is good, yeah. Um, the cards we put back here are actually we can put back the Zephros because we can draw into it again. Yeah. Um, the second one, I'm actually Mothman isn't that necessary for this one. Mm -hmm. And then I actually want to keep the Nessie just in case we get Danger Response Team because we can actually search that on. So you're gonna go over to Chew. So yeah. So there we go. It's gonna be stacked your way. It doesn't really matter. Exactly. Something happened over there. Um, there okay. we go. So we got these. Now, let's see. How many darks do we have in Grave? We it should have, have one, enough, actually. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no. Okay, I was wrong. I'm always stuck with that extra card. All right. So I'm going to set... Uh, we set the beginning. And right now, it doesn't matter what happens because... Uh, so you're going to get an extra card anyway. Exactly. So we're going to reveal Nessie. Yep. And then our dice roller. So even, even odds. Odd. Yes. Like Perfect. We have odds. We sent the brow. Perfect. See, so special and you draw. Special, draw, and then brow's effect is gonna let you draw another. And you've got and the now beginning go of the end. Beginning the end. Yeah. Now that we have seven, we're gonna send a uh, brow, one jackalope. Um, Basically, this, anything you don't need. Pretty much. Point. Make sure because we're gonna soul charge at the end of the turn, so keep the big monsters just in case. Yeah. So pretty much four, and then uh, yeah, we'll send the last jackal. So that's five. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, back here. And then he's just gonna draw, three, draw three cards. So we have one. Two, I see an upstart goblin. And three. Wow. And two Nessies. Alright, that's, that's terrible. That's very interesting. We're gonna go into the void draw card. Yep. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that is so good. All right, uh, Upstar Goblin, just to uh, make sure we have that card. There we go. Yep. Uh, Man, gives your opponent a thousand. That doesn't matter. You're gonna deal them at least seventy, uh, ninety-five to ten thousand points of damage. Oh, um, sorry, guys. Next and this is draw central basically oh, right now. Draw two. Um, beginning of the end. Okay, let's see. We have two dark monsters in grave currently. Yeah. Uh, we can afford to uh, banish one Nessie. Yeah. Just because we have um, card destruction actually. Yeah. So, so you can literally set the beginning and then we're set it and then activate card destruction. And then discarding our hand. So yeah. we're gonna send the three. Yeah. Draw right. three cards. I believe you've activated Snake this turn or no? I have not activated Snake. So I've Snake will Snake will go off. Snake if you wanted to. So what you're gonna do is chain link one Nessie, chain link two Chupacabra, and chain link three Suchinoko. Yep. So it's chain link three, send this, and then chain link two special the Dogman, and then chain link three we search a card. Special the Werewolf. Yes. I don't know why they call it a dog, but it's off the same Nessie, thing. Because we've activated pretty much the main um, danger effects, we're gonna search a uh, danger response team, as I said in the deck profile, to yeah. get back the grinder golem after you've already a Yeah. All right. That's good. So, what we are going to do here is uh, let's see. We are going to activate the danger response team to bounce back the dogman and the grinder golem to our hand. Yeah. 
So just to generate more tokens, basically. Actually, we've actually used them. We we can still make tokens, but I, we've actually he's not necessary anymore. I actually want to use him for an allure darkness target. Yeah. Um, but first, I'm going to use dangerous response team's effect, where when in grave, I can discard a danger card and then basically draw one card. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to discard yeah. the, the Mothman. Then Mothman's effect's going to activate, drawing us a card. There's our win condition. Uh, and we're going to what? Discard a brow, and then brow's effect's going to let us draw. A card. Another beginning of the end. Alrighty. All the cards. He's already set too, because he has one here also. We're gonna set one. Uh, how many ducks do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. Alright, we just need to get two more. Yep. Which is easy right now because here's the cool play. Uh, the two Suchinokos are actually gonna go into a Levy or the Sea Dragon. And then Levier is going to detach, yep. uh, especially the Jackalow from our Banish Zone. That's neat. Uh, this basically just generates more Dark Monsters for when you do Banish. Uh, so then we're going to send, what, these four? Yep, for yeah. a second Sir Yuja. Yep. Right here. So you number two. Draw four. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. What we want to do here is because we've activated the Mothman and the Jackalope, I'm not sure if we want to keep this because we are going to be drawing three more cards. Yep. So I'm actually going to send that back and the... And the Shadal Beast because actually we don't need that right now. Okay. But yeah, it's, it's a possible draw one, but you want to maximize your draw potential. So then we're gonna go into the void. Yep. Draw one. There. Here is the win condition. We draw. We drew both of them. So right now we just want to be able to get enough monsters on field, which is why we kept the grinder going actually. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna act, go right into it uh, to sh show you. We're gonna activate a library. Yeah. And right here be we're activating. Sorry, you just special summon it. Uh, special summoning it in. Doesn't matter what zone, but don't put it in the middle zone, just in case you go like Nightmare Cerberus or Phoenix, uh, so you can have them pulling. Uh, put them on the sides. So here's what's gonna happen. Just so you make sure that Arcana Force doesn't miss timing. We go Saryuja gain 300, chain link 1, and then his effect chain link 2. Yeah, because they are the, the same spell speed. Exactly. So then a uh, Light Barrier is going to kick in, letting me just choose uh, what effect I want. So instead of tossing a coin, which is what most Arcana Force cards usually uh, have you do. So we're going to choose the Heads effect. So during the end phase uh, of my turn, then uh, I send two monsters from my field to the graveyard to then make uh, to then skip my opponent's turn. They don't even get a draw phase after this, actually. So you go straight into your draw phase after you send the two monsters. And what's more beneficial is that even though your hand's kind of okay, you have more draw power with these two cards exactly. because we know what they are. So next we're going to activate beginning of the end because yeah. we have about eight darks, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to banish pretty much the level threes and like the low attack point monsters. Yeah, because you don't really need them anymore. Exactly. So we'll send Yeah, because you already have your wing cons on board and you're pretty much five. set to go. Go. Draw our three cards. Oh yeah, you're you're set. Yeah. So yeah. here we go. You don't even need the Zephyros. I don't. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna summon the Grinder Golem to their middle column, so I can get two tokens for the world when I'm done. Uh, these are gonna go here. Yeah. And then we're gonna reveal Dogman. Uh, we're gonna roll again. Yeah. Whenever he's ready. Alright, one through five. Yep. Five. It's a five, so it's right at the end. It's, it's a chupacabra. That is fine. We summon the dogman here. Right, there we go. Chup won't get its effect because your field is full. That, and I've already used it. Yeah. Uh, we drew one more card. This is uh, acceptable. This is actually quite fine. Because, um,. Our end phase, we're going to activate the world's effect, then sending yeah. two uh, the two tokens, so the one in Sir Yuja's zone and then the extra. Yeah. To then, uh, for the skip effect, and then into the void is going to kick in, discarding our entire hand. Yeah. Uh, what's great about this is we have a brow, which means we have cards to work with. Yeah. So then brow's effect becomes the last chain link and you draw one card. Yeah. And then it becomes our turn now because your opponent basically didn't get a turn. Yeah, because of this card. Yeah. Yeah. And um, then you can literally just attack for game. Not if you yet. wanted to. We don't to. have enough damage yet. Yeah. Uh, what's great about this effect, because it already resolved, I can do it multiple times. So what I'm actually going to do is just end my turn and then send these two monsters, actually. And then we'll start again. Perfect. So I'm going to go into the void, uh, draw one card. Yep. And then now I'm going to go Soul Charge. Again, our battle phase doesn't matter unless you're, like, in time. 
uh, so to speak. Yeah. So right now we're just gonna special the Soryu Skaldred, the danger. Basically, just get all your like high attack point yeah. monsters from your grave. Get your big, get your big boys out basically. So Soryu's effect. So this becomes 33, 31. This is 34 already. Yeah. And then um, I'll set this just because it's gonna get discarded at the end. Um, and then end phase again. The world send your two. And yep. then your draw phase. Oh yeah, void into the void, right? Because yes, and I yes. have to discard this right into yeah. the void. That's right. Yeah, that is right. Void. We drew Frankenner. Doesn't matter. We're gonna summon it because of the memes. Yep. I'm going to use our YouTube effect. Summon the dirt. Pay 500. Oh, there's the card that summons him. <laughs> it's all good. Now you enter battle. Yeah. You, and this is already enough damage. This is enough damage already. Yeah. So you go 31 into 3,000. This yeah. make, uh So they take 400. Yeah. And then and all then of these together are just enough for game. This. Uh, let's see. 33, 30. 31, that's 64 plus uh, 28. Yeah. yeah, that's like you don't even have to attack that's, the Frankenderp. Exactly. This was eight. The rest of the damage here is 8,500 points of damage. Yeah. Myself. And yeah, and you said in a deck profile you've been doing this every game one. I have been able to pull this off every single game one, no matter the situation, unless I got drawled, which was actually quite like quite low. Like, yeah. That percentage. So. That's the combo, basically, everyone. So. All right, cool. Thank you so much for the combo video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the combo, feel free to like, comment down below, subscribe to your channel if you are new. And if you like the content I'm creating, check out check me out on Patreon just because uh, pledging a certain amount of money can actually help make more content like this. But without any further ado, this is Kyle. Peace out. Peace, guys.